Okay, so there's been a good update on Windows on Raspberry Pi 4, and this is Windows 11, and I'm just letting it do all its updates because I haven't started it up for a little while. So from the announcements on the WOR Discord, hello everyone, it seems like someone has managed to create a Wi-Fi driver for a specific type of USB dongle, RTL 8187 chipset. This driver is not for the onboard chip, so it's not onboard Wi-Fi, but this is, I believe, the first time we've had Wi-Fi uh, on the Pi, apart from my workaround. So uh, my Vonitz adapter allows you to use Wi-Fi, but it's kind of a, a Wi-Fi Ethernet adapter, but actually works really well. This means that you can just get a simple USB dongle and have Wi-Fi working in Windows 10, Windows 11 on the Raspberry Pi. So if I click on this link, it's from user EMP4U2. I'm working on Raspberry Pi SDIO Broadcom Wi-Fi drivers. I'm close, but make no promises. But this is big steps and uh, you can see through the Discord, have a look through the comments and see what progress is being made. The other thing I wanted to show from this is uh, in the download section. So Amir does something called uh, WOR control panel and the latest version has had quite a bit of performance improvement. So let's download that one from the Discord. Let's open that up, we might as well close the browser. I guess I have to uh, extract it here. Yeah, here we are. So install it, and yes. So you can see here, thank you for downloading WRCP. This application can help monitor your Pi's performance, control your GPIO pins, install native ARM apps, view system specifications, change your screen resolution, overclock your Pi, among other cool things. So let's install it. Okay, so I think that's done. So let's close this down. And uh, you used to have to run it as administrator, so I'm just going to double click on it and see what happens. So we can see things like our CPU usage, memory usage, uh, read and write, I'm not doing anything at the moment. My temperature, which is quite high, 62 degrees, using my ice tower cooler. So under applications, you can see we've got various different things you can install. Uh, and these are versions that work well with the ARM processor. So we've got Chromium, VLC, Paint, Notepad+, Plus, OBS. Rainmeter, Rufus, and GLX gears. And if we go to settings, we've got a nice picture of the Pi 4. Talking about the processor, mentions what the RAM is, and we've got about here as well. And uh, a link to join the Discord, and it's created by Amir and Marsan, who are very active on the WOR Discord. So if we click on settings, you can see unable to read config.txt. So config.txt is how we're gonna overclock. But you have a button here on the right-hand side that just says mount. So hit mount, this is so much easier than it ever used to be. Uh, and you can see the config.txt and you can make any changes to that. Uh, there's also overclocking here, so we can adjust the overclocking. We can change the GPU frequency, GPU memory as well, change the amount of over voltage, which adapts to the CPU frequency. Very, very clever, very well worked out. Um, now obviously overclock at your own risk. Uh, Force Turbo is enabled, which means it's working hard all the time, hence that higher temperature, I guess. Uh, display, we've got uh, resolution in here, which we haven't had before. Overscan, enable or disable. All sorts of things about config.txt, but a really nice way of being able to change these. So yeah, great news, and uh, lovely to see progress on this. I haven't covered Windows on Raspberry Pi for a while, but uh, it's still being worked on. Anyway, I hope all this helps. There's a Pi news later on today. Please like and subscribe.